Okay. All right, this is section 14.2. We're going to describe solution concentrations, and we're going to do that doing, using different units. We're going to talk about that, talk about how to determine those different concentrations of the solutions. We're going to talk about something called molarity. We're also going to talk about molarity, molality, and mole fraction, and how to calculate those. The big idea here is that concentration can be turned expressed in terms of percent or in terms of moles. We're going to do those the little math problems here in this video. So the concentration of a solution is a measure of how much solute is dissolved in a specific amount of solvent or solution. And we can in general terms refer to those as either concentrated or dilute. Like you get the concentrated frozen orange juice, you have to dilute it to, with water to before you eat it. Or you get the Campbell's soups concentrated, you have to add a can of water before you, you eat it. Those are concentrated solutions or concentrated um, amounts of stuff. So the, the little formulas for these, these are on page 480 of your uh, 480, yeah. Yeah, page 480 of your book. This is all the little formulas we're going to use here. We're going to figure out these five things. I'm going to do examples on each one to show you how to do it. Okay. Percent by mass. Mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution. Okay. So not too hard. Times 100, of course, to change it to percents. Same thing with percent by volume. We do the volumes of the solute, the volumes of the solution times 100. Okay, example of doing it by mass. We have the uh, sodium bicarbonate up there. Um, 20 grams of that dissolved in 700 milliliters of water. So what's the percent by mass of that? Okay, so you have to know a couple things here. One of the things you have to know is that one milliliter of H2O has a mass of one gram. And 750 milliliters of H2O has a mass of 700 grams. So the, um, you have to, have to know that that one milliliter and, the, and equals one gram of water. And so you may be tempted to do the problem like this, 20 grams divided by 700 grams. Okay, so that looks logical, but it's not the right way to do it because this is a big NO. So don't do that because you need to do it like this. You need to do the mass of the whole solution is the mass of whatever water we have plus the mass of the solute combined. So it's, seven, it's 20 divided by 720 times 100, so you get 2.78. So it's not just, just one number divided by the other. You've got to remember to add the mass of the solute in there too. Okay, so we do the same thing with volume, right? So the ethanol dissolved in water. So the same procedure with volume, right? So we do the 25 divided by, and remember we have to divide it by the total volume of the whole thing. So it's 25 milliliters of ethanol divided by the 141 plus the 25 times 100, you should get 15.1%. You can try these out, stop the video and try them out in your calculator, but that's the, I, the main thing is here that you have to remember to add that 25 milliliters in the volume number when you're doing those problems, okay? And make sure the numbers the, the match up. Make sure we're doing milliliters and milliliters here, and we'll be good, okay? Molarity, something we haven't talked about before. It's the number of moles of a solute dissolved per liter of solution. So there's that mole thing coming up again. Doesn't seem to go away, does it? So when you're gonna need to figure out the number of moles of our solute, and divide it by the liters of our solution. And that we represent that with a capital M for molarity, okay? And we also have the dilution equation where the M1 is the molar, molar, molarity of the whatever, constant, whatever solution we have first and the volume of that times equals the molarity of our second volume, and normally we want to dilute something. It's called dilution, so you have a concentrated um, amount of something, and you want to get a certain molarity at a certain, a vol certain volume of a certain molarity 
as a, a diluted one. So um, I do that with the acids I get for the labs here. We get our concentrated acids and I dilute them to whatever concentration I need to be safe and what we use in our labs. Okay, so calculate the molarity of 1.35 liters of a solution containing 2.23 grams dissolved um, potassium bromine, bromide. Okay, so to do that, we're going to have to first figure out how many moles of potassium bromide is 2.23 grams. So we're going to have to do that grams to moles thing again. Okay, so we should know how to do that by now. And we take the 22.3 divided by the molar mass of KBr. So that's 39.1 for the potassium and 79.9 for the bromine. Do that little calculation. We get a small number of moles. So that's not too many moles of our solute there. And we're going to divide that by how many liters of solution we have. Okay, so that's a solid dissolved in water. And we're going to get a pretty small concentration of sodium, I mean potassium bromine. So that's how you do the calculation. You've got to figure out the number of moles and divide it by the liters. Now make sure you're dividing by liters because some of the problems may might be on milliliters or some different unit like that. So make sure you're dividing by liters in the problems you have. Um, the other ones we have are the um, dilution ones and you use the formula the M1V1 equals M2V2 and you set it up like this. We have our concentrated one is the 3.3 molar potassium iodide. And we want to make a small, we want to make only um, 2.5 liters of that. We want to not have a very strong concentration. We want to dilute it a lot. So how much do we need by that? We have to, so we set it up like this, the 3.3 times V1, 1.25 times the 2.5. Do the math on that, and it should come out to 0 0.0947 liters. So that's not very many liters. That's only a little less than 10 milliliters. Well, it's actually about 94 milliliters. So it would be, we wouldn't need too much of the concentrated stuff to make um, a less dilute solution of our 1.25 molar. Okay. Molality is a little, it's the, very similar to molarity, but it's just, a, you know, the spelling is slightly different. Instead of dividing by volume, we divide by mass. We divide by one kilogram of our solvent, okay? So, and the mole fraction, we're going to do two problems like this, is the ratio of number of moles of the solute in solution to the total number of moles of the solvent of the solute and the solvent. So it looks like this, where they, all these ends, the different moles of what we're trying to figure out. And you get a mole fraction of it, it's just one thing over the other, okay? And problems like this are typical. This came out of the web assigned. So you got 23.5% by mass aqueous solution of formic acid, and they give the formula for it there. So what's the molality? So we'll figure that out first. So first we have to figure out how many, we used to take that percentages and it says percentage by mass. So we have to use that. Remember like we did for the uh, percent composition things, we say, okay, well, if that's the percent, then we're going to say, okay, then those percents equal the grams. We're going to say we have a hundred grams of it and then those percents turn into grams. So we have 23.5 grams of the acid and 76.5 uh, grams of water. Okay, we're going to figure out how many moles of acid we have. So we got to take the 23.5 and divide it by the molar mass. That's why they gave us the formula here. The carbon is 12 plus 3 for those three hydrogens, 16 for the oxygen, and 1 for the hydrogen. Adds up to 32. So we get 0.734 moles of the acid. Okay, so what are we going to do with that? So we need to divide that by kilograms right we are on this is grams up here okay so to change the grams the 76 grams to kilograms we need to move the decimal place over three places so one two and three we need to add a zero in front of it that's where this number came from okay that's kilograms there so you have to if they give you grams like they often do 
You have to remember we need to divide by kilograms. So we do that and we get a 9.60 uh, modal of that of concentration of that. So we write that with a small m instead of the big M to represent that's how we're doing the concentration divided by kilograms instead of dividing by liters. Okay, so now we're going to do the mole fraction part of it. So this was the formula for mole fraction. So we're going to figure out, first we have to figure out how many moles of water we had. So we had 76.5 grams. So there's 18 grams per mole of water. So that gave me 20, uh, 4.25 moles. And I didn't have to make it. And this is a mole fraction. It's not a percent. I shouldn't have done that. So do that is going to be 0. 0.147, just as a decimal, not as a percent. So that was a mistake on my part. But that's the, the math behind it is that many moles we got from the other slide divided by those, the moles we had of the acid plus the moles of the water. You got to divide by both of them. Don't just divide by the moles of the water. And you get that mole fraction at 0.147. Okay, so that's the end of the show. Uh, fill out the form, and I'll see you guys in class tomorrow.